the way God opted to destroy the world when the world needed to be destroyed. God could have destroyed the world in any number of methodologies. An earthquake, which would have just made everything into shambles. A fire, which would have destroyed everything and made it very hard to reconstruct. God opted to destroy the, the world using water. Philosophically, water, the source of all life, which tells us that God's aim was not to destroy, but to take down so that the world could be rebuilt. Not only philosophically, but in practical terms, because we need water to live when the world was flooded out, as the flood water recedes, and we see that from the story of Noah, the vegetation starts growing immediately. The Talmud shares with us that when there is a flood, it is not to be seen as a destructive enterprise because when the water recedes, the world will be especially fertile for new crops. And so we see the thinking of God was never to destroy, but to take down with the idea of building something better. And that's very important for us, both in how we relate to other people in the world and how we relate to the spiritual world. So one way that that can be applied to our own personal lives is if someone is having difficulty in a relationship and the relationship needs to be uh, rethought, the idea should not be the destruction of relationship, but it should be the deconstruction so that it can be rebuilt into a newer, better, stronger relationship, using God as the paradigm for how to take things apart and always with an eye to build them back up into a better uh, example than they were before. If you liked that video, hit the subscribe button and notification bell below for hours of the best Jewish content online.